Hey, orange one here. So we're starting off right where we left off, and I'm realizing that um, I didn't check these guys to see if they're hivers. So let's just do a quick body check on all these dudes just to see. That one I can't really tell. Hey, everyone, can we just move just for a second? Um, do a hiver. No, no hiver. Uh, as far as I can tell in that party. Yeah, that guy's got shoes, that person's got shoes, that person has shoes. Pretty quick way of actually checking is looking to check check to see if they got boots on. Okay, so y'all can go back to your jobs, whatever that may be. Um, seems to me that y'all also should be given the order to go at your own speed. Yeah, good. Okay, so these guys are good to go. And I'm going to be honest, I can't remember exactly what I was doing right before this episode, so it might take me a little bit of time to get all situated. There's a bone dog that's right there. Igor. That's like food that is being put straight in our mouths. So we gotta, gotta take that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, your starvation's getting better. So I'd say our, our episode is off to a good start. You know, our people are no longer completely starving. They got some foul meat on them. Um, now I need to remind myself what was happening with you. Right. You were trying to get the AI cores, but not having much luck of it, unfortunately. You've got enough hunger where I'm not immediately concerned for your safety. I think we'll leave Silas out here for now. And he could be of a little bit more uh, service to us, like recruiting people, but we actually have tons of recruits already. And oh, also, someone was, had some good ideas on how to decorate Blake's um, office a little bit more. So we might as well do that a little bit. Um, I remember you were talking, maybe... Maybe I'll see... <clears throat> you definitely have his own bed. That much is for sure. We'll do kind of like what the game does. The merchants will give you a little bed in the corner, maybe a little privacy, I don't know. I don't think I've got any options for that, unfortunately. Um, we were going to give you a chest, though. I did like that idea. Give you a little general storage uh, chest. Keep your... Uh, Illicit goods in, if someone <laughs> suggested. I like that idea. So we'll do that. And then... I think you need... <laughs> the grog barrels in here. Kind of like me. I've got like... All these carboys. <laughs> pretty much right where I'm, I'm living. <clears throat> Let's see, um, southern armor. Have we filled this all the way up? It looks like we have, but not that one. Kinda of weird that you're not putting that over there. You should have that as an option as well. Probably got some good stuff in here, yeah. But we could make more, for sure. Cool. Alright, um... We were going to try recruiting similar person. Oh yeah, we we're gonna try and do this elite drone guard. Come on, game. And I'm just looking at guard 2's weapon there. Okay, yeah, you actually do have a, bet, a decent one, but you're carrying around this crummy thing. I'm gonna switch that out like that. And we should just check on this as well. How are your robotics? Either of you know no new robotic limbs? Okay. Got a right arm and some legs if we need it. Good to know. And then Benedict, what are you doing? You're just hanging out here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you were just helping out with that raid. Now I remember. You should be uh, having that, though, in your, in your hands. Oh, speaking of... Weapons. Benedict, you can load up these guys and I might take the chain shirt. What does Pat have right now? Um, I think 
pet, you might want to take one of these guys' chain shirts. <clears throat> Alright, it's worth a similar amount, but let's see, this has got 1930.50. Yeah, I think the dark leather shirt is slightly better. Just because of its quality, though, if we can get one of these that's a higher quality than what we're looking at, then I might go for it, but we're not. Caught stealing. Doesn't really matter. Okay, Benedict is going to punch the face off of that thing. Um, oh, actually, sorry. Uh, back on him. Benedict, you're the one that was gathering the weapons up. Because you can, uh... For a, for a second, I didn't realize the game was paused. The nice thing is that we can collect these off these guys. Oh my gosh, that dude had a really good weapon, the tie. And now we've got some good stuff for our base. Um, blah, blah, blah. What do we want to do next? I, mean, I would like to recruit people. We kind of grow our economy a little bit more, slash get food sufficient a little bit. Oh, this needs water. Um, electrician, can you add that to your list of things to do? Not sure why you're not doing it, because it's higher up than anything else, right? Okay, looks like you're going and doing it now. Oh, you're actually weighed down from carrying all this weight. Huh, okay. Um... Do you have any faction raids coming? Not really, no. Okay, well... If there's ever an appropriate time to just go make some money, I think now is that, Jazz. <clears throat> go ahead and sell all that. Sounds good to me. No, I'll just leave you there. You've got tons of food. You're not gonna go starving anytime soon just stay in the store and then I don't know what to do I and mean, we can oh it looks like this beak thing's about to get domed come on Gus yeah make that shot Some free food um guard three why don't you come out and get the food huh yeah you got inventory space Nothing like local organic uh, beak thing. You know, I just grab some of the foul meat as well, seeing how we're hivers and we can eat foul meat. I should be picking that up whenever I can. Oh, look, Tanishi is meditating, contemplating uh, about Okran. Okay, you know, I wonder what the hives believe in terms of, like, gods and god or whatever. Like, are they... Do they have a religious structure? You don't really hear or see anything. They probably just worship the queen. Though, so, you know? Okay, Silas, we've been having you meditate on this hill for, I think, like, three episodes now. I think I'm gonna have you come back and we'll help you set up, like, another forward base, I think. Maybe at Black Desert City or near there, so we've got someone in a little trading area. Maybe in Venge. It might be a good idea to pop something down in Venge, just in case, you know. Um, it provides support is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to just watch Silas as he runs back, just in case I need to control him and help him avoid things. And it gives me something to actually do <laughs> um, while we're raiding to try and recruit more people. And then if we see a cleaner unit, then we'll be good. I think I just want to make a mental note that we are near the A in Ashlands when we're at that peak. Because that was a pretty good peak for getting a look. It was a good peak for getting a peak at the surroundings. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, video on how to grow a YouTube channel. I um, probably, I don't know if I want to do that into like a mini series. We'll see how it performs in the other 
ones. I'm really hoping that the uh, survey results in more views of things that I put up. Um, so far, what I'm looking at was that Crusader Kings looks pretty popular, so I'm probably going to do that. And I already recorded one of Into the Breach. So it didn't do do very well, but I already had it like the action pre-recorded, just not the commentary. So, uh, too bad that's got to happen. <laughs> Though I do really like that game's art style. If you haven't uh, played that game, you should check it out. If you like uh, strategy games or like board games, I, I highly, highly recommend it. It's like one of the more um, board gamey video games that I've played in a while. And I, I dig it. I think it's a good, a good balance. See, this is what we're going to want at the Black Desert Cities. We're going to want some fertile land that's um, going into an inhabitable biome. Kind of like this little, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a peninsula, but this little thing, if you find pockets like that, in between two biomes, you can <clears throat> get the fertility of one biome and also the ore of another one. You can get best of both worlds, you know? Or best of both biomes, I guess. Uh, no hives. Oh, look, there's even a prince. If I had Igor, I might see if I can, uh, capture you. Meats for king. Man, I've been really, really, really appreciating Blake. If you guys don't know, on Discord, Blake's been, um, going through the Let's Play series and posting all the deaths that have happened. Um, like, when they died, and what episode, the timestamp, and how they died. And it's been so fun for me to just go back and read that. So, thank you, Blake, and those of you that are interested in a short uh, summary of the history of the Hive. That might be a good place to go, just to kind of check it out. I mean, there's more to our history than just who I've gone and I recklessly killed, but... Um, it's a big part of our culture here in the Free Hive. We, uh, we like to ce celebrate our martyrs. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh man, I'm a little bit nervous. I got like my first, like, uh, sorry, let me just check this out. Armory drone guard. Okay, now they're spawning on top of each other. Because I was considering trying to kidnap one of those guys for a minute there, but... There's two of them, so it's gonna make it a little bit tricky. I do like how they kind of took over that location, though. That skin house is a uh, southern hive. They should rename that from a skin house. I don't know. I probably, if I found a house that had robots that took people's skin, I would not move in. That's all I'm saying. Like, my parents bought a house where um, one of the previous owners had killed himself, and it's kind of. I think that he did it in the house, but I'm not really sure. So, like, I get, like, the whole, like, okay, don't be paranoid, you can get a good deal kind of mentality. Like, I, I totally love that my parents did that. It was such a good good thing for us. And it's so funny how, like, superstition like that ends up making people... Having people make essentially bad financial decisions because they don't want to have the off chance of something spooky happening to them. You know, which is absurd. Um, but I kind of get it in terms of hey I don't want to think about that thing when I'm here at this place you know it's, it is a little bit disturbing to think about what happened at some places in the past especially in America I don't know like because I've I, I looking at things and most of my fans are international from different places I'm sure you guys have it in other places too, but it's so weird for me just like going around America and sometimes it'll, it'll just hit you how much of like a genocide there was in this country of like the native people and you'll just be like, oh my god, this place is full of death. <laughs> you know? Kind of like Kenji, but like, you know, a little less cannibalism. But like in, in all seriousness, it's kind of weird. I'm sure that other people get that. And like, no matter where you go, there's like people who were um, eradicated that used to live there. You know. 
and like I don't know if you think about human history that that's what we all are is that we're the ones that won in at the very least a tribal war against another tribe like is there has there ever really truly been a, a branch of humanity that's been 100% peaceful the entire time I don't think so so there's been some conflict between tribes and if there's conflict between tribes eventually one is going to win out and the other one's going to be either integrated or completely destroyed in either case like their culture has been uh essentially attacked and taken over <laughs> and i don't know it just is a weird thing to kind of think about it's like no matter where you go that stuff's happened like oh man the humanity maybe it is time that the skeletons take us all out stop us from taking each other out you know you can't be a murderer if you're dead i i don't know i was just watching the matrix last night <laughs> It's interesting, it's an interesting argument that maybe those machines in the Matrix are uh, trying to take care of humans and are trying to be good care caretakers. They just don't know how to do so ethically, but I wonder if that's what's going on with the skeletons here. Because I feel like it is, like they were tried to take care of humans and then they messed it up so bad. They're like, oh sorry, uh, maybe we need to restart that, do a hard reset, get rid of all those hivers. Or memory of hivers. Though it's weird that some of the skeletons don't recall seeing a hiver and they're like, green men, what's going on with this? You know? Yeah, just some, some uh, thoughts. Food for thought, you know? As they say, which is weird because it's like, isn't it thoughts for food? I don't know. Baker, who are, who's attacking you? What's going on there? You're not under attack. You're fine. Stop screaming out in terror. Okay, I think though that we are at an appropriate time to try and recruit again. Yay! Um, this one. You know, I. I was thinking about uh Oro, and so. I'm, We'll do Oro and Wheat, so it'll be Oro Wheat, like the brand. Watch, I get, uh... Oh, wait, what? What's this? Band of Bones. Hey, someone did actually make it in here. Yep, spared you becoming lost. Pretty nifty. Nice of me. Fantastic. Um... Too bad you don't have better chest armor, but we got something that's okay. It's not as good as I would like, but it's definitely okay. Okay. Uh, wheat's doing pretty good. Motorist, who are you fighting? And you should actually be able to take this dude just fine, but in case you can't, guard for good help out. Oh, jeez. Motorist 2. Uh. Hey, Blake, I think we need your help. This dude's actually wrecking our guard. No, he's actually, he's fine. Oh, robotic helper, man. Coming out of nowhere. You're supposed to not fight. I don't want you fighting. You and robotics expert, definitely not fighting. If it can be avoided. Oh, we also need building materials. I know we that you're like a super hyper killer. But I need some of this building material made. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, we will get wheat on a proper squad. Um, with Oro. If I can find them. Uh, we want Oro probably with the soldiers. So, uh, we'll do wheat there, and then where's Oro right now? Oro is in the royal, but I would like you in the soldiers. 
You know what that, that one part of that one song that's playing right now reminds me of? Like, just ten seconds ago? Like, um, Fallout 4, like, uh, um, um, Far Harbor. Isn't this a little bit Far Harbor-y? I feel like it was the string instrument that was playing there. I think it was a violin. I'm pretty sure. But I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's got the AI core in there. And let's look into the bigger buildings, because I do remember someone was also suggesting that we um, look into some bigger buildings. Sure. Let's do that. And then we don't have the ability to make... Uh, uh, I'm not seeing the thing for, like, uh, hyper limbs or skeletal limbs. It, is it in here? I thought it would be in here, but I'm not seeing it. It's not under crafting. Oh, maybe we need the better tech level. Yeah, we need another AI core to get another tech level. Okay, well, we could try and farm cleanser units, or we could try and attack a place that would have, um... The AI cores. And I think I want to go for a place because I know that the um, Holy Nation, which is like, you know, there. Um, or like up here. I think they've got like a base like right there that we could go check out that pretty much guarantees to have an AI core, but it's like Narcos Trap or something like that. So we could do a little mission to Narcos Trap. Uh, actually, I kind of like that idea as a episode. We just need to get a squad ready for that. And we'd be good. Um, what else could we do? Silas, you're back here. I think we're going to want to get our soldier squad and send them. Or, I mean, we could do the royals. And Igor is is kind of who I would like to have fighting. We need to fight. Is that one of the United Cities dudes running away? Benedict, don't let him get away. Chase him down. That's not okay, bud. You don't you don't attack here and and live. Not how we do it. We don't let that stand. Uh, okay, so this is kind of, kind of working. Definitely are producing some food. We do need to get maybe like a little, um, I don't know, like mine or something out here. We need more people, essentially. I just haven't had the time in real life to get more hivers. Um, can I... I think... You're not picking up water because you don't have the storage space for it. You got space now. I see, so you haven't been watering our crops because you, uh, you didn't have water. Okay. Good to know. Very good to know. <laughs> I wish I had known that earlier, but whatever. I think that we... I do want to get people to go down to, uh, you know, Catlon. I think we got a good goal in the meantime. Maybe... I think we should take the Royal Squad. And we aren't going to take the everyone in the Royal Squad, or can we? And Beef... Looks like Beef is a soldier. Yeah, maybe we take these guys up to Narco's Trap and try and do that mission. I think that we can. Let's go swing by and get Tanishi though, because Tanishi I do want to come with us. Uh, so Tanishi, come up there as well. I don't know who you're about to fight, but you'd probably be there for that. Oh, you're actually already out of the gates? Huh. Did I have you moving out here already? It looks like I did. Okay. They're going to go up to Narco's Trap. I kind of want to have Silas go with them. Yeah, let's have Silas go with them, just in case. 
and we'll work on getting more recruits. You know, if the royals die, then I'm going to be very upset. But we'll possibly get an AI core out of it. So I think it'll be worth it. I'm hopeful. I'm definitely hopeful. And with them not there, then the food demand there at the other place is going to go down. We're also going to possibly need to send over some soldiers to defend it, but I think that they got it. We have Oro and Wheat go there. That is definitely an option. Uh, get some first aid kits, though. And then Oro, if you've got no other job, go work there. Because I, I would like more than what we have right now. Pretty small amount of actual health items. Okay. Things are going good though, and we could, if we had someone to trade with, we could trade all this armor that we've made, make a pretty penny. There's no one that it will trade with me. And even the tech hunter here won't talk to me. Yeah, I think we need to just send, while we're up there, like, send Silas or someone to one of those, um, way stations and make peace with any of the major factions, essentially, right now, so we can get some trading done with them. I'd be even willing to make peace with the United Cities. Or we could trade with Shark. as the other option. Actually, yeah, sorry, Silas, why don't you go get our stuff? All the junk that we've been hanging on to. You can probably go trade in Shark. While these guys are, um, you know, getting to their their uh, destination. Okay, everyone, you're gonna be meeting right there. And then Silas is coming back. Just speed it up, just a just a tad. Seeing how the crossbow guys are shooting at something, but it's not really like a fight with anyone. Now I'm noticing. Yeah, they're just doming animals outside. It's all good. Um, Silas, we were going to, yeah, go ahead and get in this black area that should be lit, but whatever. Game's having a hard time loading, looks like. Uh, well, dang, can't pick up items if, okay, there we go. Thank you, Kenshi. I appreciate you being flexible there. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put the rags down. And, uh, I'm gonna take that, I think. And I'm gonna just take all these helmets, I think. Because the helmets are gonna be worth something and we can take a lot of them. Have my thought on that. The other stuff we can just melt down. Any masterwork? No, no masterwork. Okay. Well, I think we can get one more there. And I think that's all we can do. Yeah, that's all we can do. Okay. That looks good to me, Silas. And I'm going to get you to run or start running towards Shark. We'll have to do trading in the, in the swamps, basically. And then you guys, hopefully I remember I was sending you up to Narco's Trap. I've got the feeling that I'm going to forget. You know? It's pretty far up there. It's like up here somewhere. And I would rather not go through Venge, but I think you guys are going to try going through Venge. Hey, can we move as a team? I know it's going to take a lot longer because Pet's kind of slow, but maybe we can carry Pet. Uh, and we will go at least to the edge of Venge. I think that's that's relatively safe. I mean, it's not nothing safe in this game, but it's uh, not the worst. I I feel like, and please forgive me, but I feel like I'm gonna forget that I was trying to do a run to Narco's Trap by sending these guys up. But we'll see. You know, you never know. I might be not completely forgetful. Okay, well, it looks like the bed for our our glorious leader Blake. As, uh, has been completed. And 
where's Silas at? Silas, are you even running there? Yeah? Okay. Oh, you're actually up there already. Okay, cool. I bet that you're fine. And I, I remember that I was going to trade you because I've got all that stuff in your inventory. My concern is these guys. I'm going to forget what I'm doing with them. So I'll let them go just a little bit further just to help me keep track of... Oh, these guys are definitely going up north. And then I'll hopefully remember that I was trying to get AI cores. Like leaving yourself a little breadcrumb trail, right? Okay, well, in any case, I'm going to end here. It's been about half an hour and I got to go. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.